Hi guys, it's me, Ingo, and in the next few moments I would like to give you at least a very brief motivation why exploratory testing matters and why we pay so much attention to it at Tricentis. Now then, what is it? Well, one can safely say that exploratory testing is like teenage sex. Why, you may ask? Well, because everyone talks about it, but nobody really seems to understand what it is and how to do it. And because of the fact that everyone talks about it, everyone thinks that everyone else is doing it. And the result of this, everyone claims they are doing it. Now, this just says two things. Number one, exploratory testing is a really hot topic. Number two, it is poorly understood. And this is the reason why we don't just provide the tools at Tricentis, we also provide the concepts how to do it. But what is it? Well, now, Imagine you would be able to arrange all of your testing approaches on a one-dimensional line. Let's call this line the testing continuum. It ranges from formal approaches to testing to informal approaches to testing. Now, what is formal testing? Well, it's testing completely specified, such as test automation or manual testing. Do we have a name for an informal approach to testing? That means testing completely unspecified? Sure, we have. It's called ad hoc testing or freestyle testing. And somewhere in between, there is exploratory testing. And this says that exploratory testing is just a collective title. This means exploratory testing can come in so many different ways to us. It can be expressed in so many different flavors. The one we go for is called session-based testing. It's a structured approach to exploratory testing, and so it makes exploratory testing applicable for large-scale implementations. But what is the difference between exploratory testing and formal testing? Well, formal testing can be safely translated to specification-based manual and automatic testing, and it is a very mechanical approach to testing, especially when it comes to test automation. Why, you may ask? Well, automation is just doing what automation does. It just processes a certain set of pre-designed test data through your application under test in a certain sequence of pre-designed test steps. That's it. No more, no less. On the other side of the fence, exploratory testing is more like an intelligent approach to testing. So here it is all about learning the product designing tests, executing tests, and interpreting the test results all at the same time. So you do all of this simultaneously. And in doing so, your next test is always influenced by the results of your last one. And this, by the way, is the reason why we call it exploratory testing. Now, this says that the purpose of formal testing is to monitor known risks. So here you just confirm what you already know. Here you just confirm what you expect. On the other side, the purpose of exploratory testing is to analyze potential risks. So here you should focus on things you don't know. You should focus on illusions you are holding true without any empirical evidence. Now, this says that any exploratory test has a high information value because we learn something new about the application. And that's not the case for formal testing. Well, now you might say, then let's prioritize all of our tests according to their information value. Well, that's one way you could do it, but it's not the only one. Don't miss the risk coverage. And without a shadow of doubt, with exploratory testing, you won't be able to achieve comprehensible risk coverage. That is what you can achieve with formal testing. So the bottom line is that formal tests are change detectors. Why? Well, you add some new functionality on top of your already existing product, and you want to know if that has a bad impact on your existing product? Run your regression. On the other side, exploratory tests are problem detectors. So here it's all about spotting problems. Here it's all about exploring the invisible, the unknown, to avoid the unthinkable happening to the anonymous. And now you might say, well, but at the end of the day, it's all about spotting problems. And you are absolutely right. And this is the reason why the purpose of testing a program is to find problems in it. The only difference between those two approaches, formal testing 
and exploratory testing is that they approach the problems from different perspectives. And so we regard something as properly tested when it is being checked by efficient formal test automation based on a solid test case design and when it is checked by the richness of intellect of human beings. And this is at least our agile equation of motion and the reason why we pay so much attention to it. Thank you so much for listening.